the Chaplet of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven, and all the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend You, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of Your grace, to sin no more, and to avoid the near occasions of sin. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill my heart with your holy gifts. Let my weakness be penetrated with your strength this very day, that I may fulfill all the duties of my state conscientiously, that I may do what is right and just. Let my charity be such as to offend no one and hurt no one's feelings, so generous as to pardon sincerely any wrong done to me. Assist me, O Holy Spirit, in all my trials of life. Enlighten me in my ignorance. Advise me in my doubts. Strengthen me in my weakness. Help me in all my needs. Protect me in temptations and console me in afflictions. Graciously hear me, O Holy Spirit, and pour your light into my heart, my soul, and my mind. Assist me to live a holy life and to grow in goodness and grace. Amen. The first mystery. By the Holy Ghost is Jesus conceived of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Meditation. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy, and will be called the Son of God. Practice. Diligently implore the aid of the Divine Spirit and Mary's intercession to imitate the virtues of Jesus Christ who is the model of virtues, so that you may be made conformable to the image of the Son of God. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Second mystery. The Spirit of the Lord rested upon Jesus when he was baptized. Meditation. And when Jesus had been baptized, he at once came up from the water, and suddenly the heavens opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming down on him. Practice. Hold in the highest esteem the priceless gift of sanctifying grace, infused into your soul by the Holy Spirit in baptism. Keep the promises to which you then pledged yourself. Increase by constant practice, faith, hope, and charity. Ever live and become children of God and members of God's true church, so as to obtain hereafter 
the inheritance of heaven. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Third Mystery By the Spirit is Jesus led into the desert to be tempted by the devil. Meditation Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the desert for forty days, being put to test by the devil. Practice Be ever grateful for the sevenfold gift of the Holy Spirit bestowed upon you in confirmation, for the spirit of wisdom and understanding, of counsel and fortitude, of knowledge and piety, and of the fear of the Lord. Faithfully yield to his divine guidance, so that in all the trials and temptations of life, you may act manfully and become a perfect Christian and valiant soldier of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Fourth Mystery The Holy Spirit in the Church 
Suddenly there came from heaven a sound as of a violent wind, which filled the entire house in which they were sitting. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different languages as the Spirit gave them power to express themselves. Practice. Thank God for having made you a child of His church, which is ever animated and directed by the Divine Spirit, sent into this world for that purpose of the day of Pentecost. Hear and obey the Holy See, the infallible mouthpiece of the Holy Ghost, and the Church, the pillar and ground of truth. Uphold her doctrines, seek her interests, defend her rights. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Fifth Mystery The Holy Spirit in the Soul of the Just Man and the Just Woman Meditation do you not realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you and whom you received from God? Do not stifle the Spirit, and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, who has marked you with his seal, ready for the day when we shall be set free. Practice. Be ever mindful of the Holy Spirit, who is within you, and carefully cultivate purity of soul and body. Faithfully obey his divine inspirations, so that you may bring forth the fruits of the Spirit, charity, joy, peace, patience, dignity, goodness, long-suffering, mildness, faith, modesty, constancy, chastity. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For the intentions of the Sovereign Pontiff, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Miraculous Prayers to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in us the fire of your love. Follow me as I pray this prayer. Let us open our hearts and feel the presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A Novena to the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit, third person of the Blessed Trinity, Spirit of Truth, Love, and Holiness, proceeding from the Father and the Son, and equal to them in all things, I adore you and love you with all my heart. Dearest Holy Spirit, confiding in your deep personal love for me, I am making this novena for the following request, if it should be your holy will to grant it. Mention your request. Teach me, Divine Spirit, to know and seek my last end. Grant me the holy fear of God. Grant me true contrition and patience. Do not let me fall into sin. Give me an increase of faith, hope, and charity, and bring forth in my soul all the virtues proper to my state of life. Make me a faithful disciple of Jesus and an obedient child of the Church. Give me efficacious grace sufficient to keep the commandments and to receive the sacraments worthily. Give me the four cardinal virtues, your seven gifts, your twelve fruits. Raise me to perfection in the state of life to which you have called me, and lead me through a happy death to everlasting life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Spirit, you who make me see everything and show me the way to reach my ideals. You who give me the divine gift to forgive and forget the wrong that is done to me, and you who are in all instances of my life with me. 
I, in this short dialogue, want to thank you for everything and confirm once more that I never want to be separated from you, no matter how great the material desires may be. I want to be with you and my loved ones in your perpetual glory. Amen. We beseech you, O Lord, let the power of the Holy Spirit be always with us. Let it mercifully purify our hearts and safeguard us from all harm. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Comforter, who proceeds from you, enlighten our minds, we beseech you, O Lord, and guide us, as your Son has promised, into all truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Spirit, sweet guest of my soul, abide in me, and grant that I may ever abide in thee. Prayer for the Seven Gifts of the Holy Spirit O Lord Jesus Christ, who, before ascending into heaven, didst promise to send the Holy Ghost to finish thy work in the souls of thy apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of thy grace and thy love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world, and aspire only after the things that are eternal the spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of thy divine truth, the spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with thee and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints the spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, the spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of thy true disciples and animate me in all things with thy spirit. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit O oh, come, Holy Spirit, fill my heart with your gifts, let my weakness be penetrated with your strength every day, that I may state conscientiously, that I may do what is right and just. Let my charity be such, to offend no one and hurt no one's feelings, so generous as to pardon sincerely any wrong done to me. Assist me, O Holy Spirit, in all the trials of life. Enlighten me in my ignorance, advise me in my doubts, strengthen in my weakness, protect me in temptations, and console me in afflictions. Graciously hear me, O Holy Spirit, and pour your light into my heart, my soul, and my mind. Assist me to live a holy life and to grow in goodness. Holy Spirit, through you make me see everything and show me the way to reach my ideal. You who gave me the divine gift to forgive and forget the wrong that is done to me and who are in all instances of my life be with me. I, in this short dialogue, I want to thank you for everything and confirm for once that I never want to be separated from you, no matter how great the material desires may be. I want to be with you and my love in your perpetual glory. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who instructed the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Miraculous Prayers to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in us the fire of your love. Follow me as I pray this prayer. Let us open our hearts and feel the presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A Novena to the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit, third person of the Blessed Trinity, Spirit of Truth, Love, and Holiness, proceeding from the Father and the Son, and equal to them in all things, I adore you and love you with all my heart. Dearest Holy Spirit, confiding in your deep personal love for me, I am making this novena for the following request, if it should be your holy will to grant it. Mention your request. Teach me, Divine Spirit, to know and seek my last end. Grant me the holy fear of God. Grant me true contrition and patience. Do not let me fall into sin. Give me an increase of faith, hope, and charity, and bring forth in my soul all the virtues proper to my state of life. Make me a faithful disciple of Jesus and an obedient child of the Church. Give me efficacious grace sufficient to keep the commandments and to receive the sacraments worthily. Give me the four cardinal virtues, your seven gifts, your twelve fruits. Raise me to perfection in the state of life to which you have called me and lead me through a happy death to everlasting life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Spirit, you who make me see everything and show me the way to reach my ideals, 
You who give me the divine gift to forgive and forget the wrong that is done to me, and you who are in all instances of my life with me. I, in this short dialogue, want to thank you for everything, and confirm once more that I never want to be separated from you, no matter how great the material desires may be. I want to be with you and my loved ones in your perpetual glory. Amen. We beseech you, O Lord, let the power of the Holy Spirit be always with us. Let it mercifully purify our hearts and safeguard us from all harm. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Comforter, who proceeds from you, enlighten our minds. We beseech you, O Lord, and guide us, as your Son has promised, into all truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Spirit, sweet guest of my soul, abide in me, and grant that I may ever abide in thee. Prayer for the Seven Gifts of the Holy Spirit O Lord Jesus Christ, who, before ascending into heaven, didst promise to send the Holy Ghost to finish thy work in the souls of thy apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of thy grace and thy love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world, and aspire only after the things that are eternal the spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of thy divine truth, the spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with thee and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, the spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of thy true disciples and animate me in all things with thy spirit. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit O oh, come, Holy Spirit, fill my heart with your gifts, let my weakness be penetrated with your strength every day, that I may state conscientiously, that I may do what is right and just. Let my charity be such, to offend no one and hurt no one's feelings, so generous as to pardon sincerely any wrong done to me. Assist me, O Holy Spirit, in all the trials of life. Enlighten me in my ignorance, advise me in my doubts, strengthen in my weakness, protect me in temptations, and console me in afflictions. Graciously hear me, O Holy Spirit, and pour your light into my heart, my soul, and my mind. Assist me to live a holy life and to grow in goodness. Holy Spirit, through you make me see everything and show me the way to reach my ideal. You who gave me the divine gift to forgive and forget the wrong that is done to me and who are in all instances of my life be with me. I, in this short dialogue, I want to thank you for everything and confirm for once that I never want to be separated from you, no matter how great the material desires may be. I want to be with you and my love in your perpetual glory. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who instructed the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. Subscribe to our channel for more prayers, chaplets, and novenas. Thank you. Mm -hmm.